This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Visit www.squarespace.com slash nameexplain to get 10% off your first purchase and build your own all-in-one platform. No plugins, no updates, no patches, ever. Georgia, the home of Joseph Stalin and AJ Styles. Yes, you heard me right. Both these men are from Georgia. But wait, how exactly can that be? I mean, I know immigration is a thing and all, but one is an Eastern European former dictator and the other a Southern American high-flying indie darling professional wrestler. This is of course because there are two popular places on our earth called Georgia, the country of Georgia in Europe and the state in the USA called Georgia. So why exactly are there two places in the world called Georgia? The origins of the country of Georgia's name are still debated. Some believe the name comes from St. George and another idea is it comes from the Greek Georgos, meaning tiller of the soil. Most scholars now seem to agree that the name Georgia comes from the Persian Arabic name for the Georgian people, Gurg slash Gurgan. In Persian, Gurg means wolf and it's also believed the name could have come from the ancient Iranian name for a region of Iran near the Caspian Sea, Gorgon, meaning land of wolves. And it was from this name of Gurg it reached west than Europe through crusaders and pilgrims who rendered the name as Georgia. Georgia's name in Georgian however is Sakatvilo. This name means land of the Kartvelians and comes from the Kartli region of the country. The name Kartli is thought to have come from Kartlos, the mythological founding father of the country of Georgia who was supposedly a descendant of Noah. Yet Georgia and Sakatvelo aren't the only two names for the country. One of the more infamous names for the country is its Russian name, Gluzia. The Georgian people seem to be unhappy with Russia using this name, as the name is associated with Georgia being part of the Russian Empire for 200 years. Though of course I don't speak for all the Georgian people. It's more than just Russia who uses that name. Georgia are pushing for more nations to drop the Gluzia name for Georgia. So far it seems only South Korea have agreed to make the change, yet Russia still holds strongly onto Gluzia. However, moving away from Europe and into the south of the United States, we have the state of Georgia. The state of Georgia was founded by General James Edward Oglethorpe in 1733. He was granted a colonial charter in 1732 to create a place where people who owed money could be sent as opposed to prison, where they could hopefully start a new life. He wished to find a refuge for debtors as one of his dear friends died in prison for being a debtor and due to the awful treatment the prison wardens had given his friend. When he founded his colony, he named it after his king, king King George II. With that, Georgia the state was created. This origin of the founding of this state has led some to believe that the state of Georgia was built on thieves and murderers, but that really wasn't the case. By the time the charter and colonialization of the land was fully realized, the land would no longer be a place for incarcerated debtors, but rather a home for the deserving poor where they could start fresh. The first group of settlers were chosen carefully, and as far as evidence goes, none of them were convicts. A lot of this information comes from the book The Story of How Our States Were Named by Kathy Guyton, who very kindly sent me over a copy copy to check out. They didn't pay me to say this, but I like to be honest with you guys when someone is kind enough to send something like this to me. But while these might be the two most famous Georgias, there are other places called Georgia on this planet. The town of Georgia in Vermont, New Georgia Island in the Solomon Islands, and South Georgia in the Atlantic Ocean, just to name a few. And of course, Georgia is a popular given name for girls too, a feminine form of the boy's name George, meaning he who works the land, which ties into that early Greek meaning, tiller of the soil. So, why is there a country and a state called Georgia? Honestly, there doesn't seem to be much of a link. While I guess one argument could be that they were both named after Georges, with the country being named after St. George and the state being King George II, that still seems a little bit strenuous. The world is a big place. It kind of makes sense that a couple places might end up with the same name through different origins. Maybe we should celebrate the fact that two places can come to have the same name through two different stories. Once again, a huge thank you to Squarespace, not only for sponsoring this video, but for helping a clueless idiot like myself create a beautiful looking website. And you too can make a gorgeous looking website for any need you might have, regardless of your computer know-how. One thing I love about Squarespace is their all-in-one platform, meaning no plugins, no patches or updates, 
ever because nothing really stops creativity like waiting for an update to install. Squarespace and their 24-7 365 support will always be ready for you. And of course, my beautiful website exists thanks to Squarespace. My site is the home of all things name explain. My latest blog post is a retrospective of my entire YouTube career, all the failures that came before name explain and what I learned about YouTube from those failures. Go check it out and look at some embarrassingly old videos of me from when I was around 16. Start making your own amazing website and get 10% off your first order by using the link www.squarespace.com slash name explain in the description below. Check it out and why don't you leave any ideas you might have for my website and show me what you've created on Squarespace to help take your passion or business to the next level down below. Once again, that link is www.squarespace.com slash name explain. Thank you.